Let's join the Springfield Figure Skating Club with their annual production of Spotlight on Ice. Music, music, music. You're jumping and spinning on the ice, which not many people can do. You just have to stay in the moment. We're at the Nelson Center in Lincoln Park in Springfield, and we're about to do our last performance of Spotlight on Ice 2011. This is the annual production of Springfield Figure Skating Club, and it's our kids' chance to get out and show what they do every day to Springfield audiences. We have over probably 75 skaters from three, four-year-olds up to adult skaters also. We try to create a show that's all about the variety. This show, for instance, is all about music, music, music. And we start out with movie music and that we do a production number of Wizard of Oz. Then we switch to American Songbook. Then we go on and we do Rhapsody for Piano and Ice. In our second half, we devoted it totally to rock and roll. We're doing Little Shop of Horrors, which is one of the early rock musicals. Then we're doing a segment all about Elvis, and we're ending up with a rousing version of Grease. It provides a unique opportunity because we get to combine our skating with acting and you get to portray a character and you get to go to the audience more. For the competitors, um, you'd think that the show would get in the way of competition, but it really doesn't because it enhances their artistic abilities. And even the best competitive skaters have to be able to perform to an audience. I'm Dorothy. I am the Wicked Witch of the West. I'm Sandy from Greece. I watch the movie a lot to try to see what Sandy does in the movie so I can try to portray her on the ice. It's really fun. I love the movie, so I just like acting with all the other people. It's kind of challenging because, I mean, you don't ever try to be evil on a daily basis, so you kind of have to just think about what she would do and how she would act and then kind of just copy that. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to remember all your lines, and you just have to not think of what's next. But in the end, it's really rewarding, because you get to be able to see like how your hard work paid off and how you could do acting and skating at the same time. I'm Jeremy Abbott. I'm the two-time United States national champion. I was at uh, the Winter Olympics in Vancouver last year. Um, now I'm here in Springfield to put on a show for everyone. When I was young and doing the shows like these, I always looked up to the guest skaters and it was like motivation and inspiration and I love to kind of be able to do that for the younger generation now and it's, it's really cool to, to get to meet everybody and to kind of be a part of the family if only for a couple days. And it's really, it's a great, it's a great show and they put on a huge production and you know, I'm really just honored to be a part of it. Skating is still fairly new to this community. We just offer an outlet here, so our kids, for the most part, don't have to leave here and go to other big training centers to learn. We have coaches here who can now take our skaters to the national level, and that's a good thing for this community. Ice skating is a very demanding sport. One of the only sports that's a sport and an art form, and it's really hard to combine the two seamlessly. It takes tons of years of training and lots and lots of practice. It requires strength, agility, flexibility. We'll have to freeze the lightning. All the skaters I find are amazing. They have no fear. Learning jumps from a single jump all the way up to a triple jump is, is apparent. You just, you know, hold your breath sometimes but they enjoy it. I've certainly had my share of bumps and bruises. I've pulled, I've ripped, I've torn, I've had tendonitis. I actually, I fractured my back at one point. Um, I mean, it's certainly not as fluffy and pretty as it comes off on TV. It's definitely, it's definitely a sport, it's definitely athletic, and there's definitely risk involved. The show is one of the kids' favorites. They love it. This is probably a little bit more relaxed where the skaters can really show off as opposed to a competition. It's a little bit more strenuous and, and this one's just all about having fun. What's most important is that everyone is having fun.
You get to portray what you're feeling without using words. And it's just a great feeling to glide over the ice. It's, it can just be so effortless.